Hey folks, welcome to another Lord of the Rings uh, figure review from Diamond Select Toys. We've got the Moria Orc here. It's been a little while, um, you know, it's been a good oh, be months, probably nearly 12 months probably since I uh, did my last bunch. Um, might, have, might have been very, very early in the year, if anything. Um, but yeah, it has been a long time. Uh, finally, sort of catching up and grabbing the last figures that I need. Um, I mean, I... Moria Orc was the last one I needed because he comes with the, the Sauron's Mace. Um, so I did do a video on all the other figures that made with the Builder figure pieces to make Sauron. And I reviewed Sauron um, with the intention of getting this guy far sooner. But um, yeah, it's just sort of been picking up other things in the meantime. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have him in hand now. He's a really really cool figure and uh if you can get a couple there's some cool variations you can do so we'll get a look at his weapons he does come with this uh pike which is awesome that sort of arrow head sculpted into the tip there which is really nice um yeah nice sort of sculpt and paint work on that too it does come with this sort of uh you know it's an orc blade which looks nice they've got a little bit of like Sort of dirt and sort of rust on it like you know they don't care for their swords they're just there to they're not they don't need to worry about the quality of the steel they're just there to hack and slash and 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 murder on mass so the other thing is you get a swap out head with this beautiful face so you get a nice close-up look so i love the way they sort of designed the orcs in moria to have these sort of bigger eyes as they've had to adapt to the dark, so the eyes naturally just sort of get bigger, a bit like how Gollum, um, you know, his eyes sort of got bigger as he spent years, years and years <laughs> living in caves and not really getting out in the sunshine too much. So, you know, the, the body naturally adapts, and that's what's happened with these goblins, goblin orcs. Um, but yeah, let's let's take this out the spear out so we can get that out of the way um, while we look over the rest of the figure and I'll show you the, the swap out swap out as I go as well so you're just looking at the uh, the helmet the, the detail on that is incredible the paint jobs fantastic I love the sculpt of it you know it's just rough wrought iron you know there'd be no concept of comfort for this thing it's literally just a you know a little bit of extra protection for themselves which shows that Sauron does have you know sort of some form of respect for his soldiers because um you know he could just send them out with no helmets at all um but also given that these guys are in Moria you know there's probably a lot of dwarf forges and stuff in there and things that they could you know, scrap and reuse to create armor for themselves, um, for protection in those, in the deep dark caverns of Moria, so, but yeah, really nice, the back plate there looks great, just, whoever sculpted this figure in particular is an absolute master of the craft, fantastic, a little bit like, you know, you can't help the painting, the the red sort of bled onto some of the rings there, but you could also just, on the chain mail, yeah, you could say, you know, it's just dunked it in blood and it's just sort of washed in, but yeah, it's sort of meant to be like a red cloth underneath, down to the legs, again, sort of, sort of rusty metal, worn iron sort of look. Feet. And again, sort of got leg wraps underneath this sort of very pale green skin. You know, imagine these are the kind of orcs, you know, they set foot outside once and they're cooked. They're going to get roasted by the sun. <laughs> but yeah, love all the detail, just all the paintwork and, and everything on this. The you, know, you can sort of see the layers of the skin and... You know, sort of wrinkles in the legs, like these guys sort of do walk around, sort of squat. So it's cool to sort of pose them up like that. Let me zoom out a fraction. But 
yeah, in terms of swapping out the head, so you can um, have some alternate ones if you decide to pick up more than one. This sort of uh, bit of chainmail sort of collar guard over the top, that just, it sits over. Um, I don't know how it's meant to sit. I feel like it's meant to sort of sit there because um, it's sort of sculpted to sort of sit over that little spine of armour in the middle. It feels like it sits there, but then on the back, it sort of just sort of sits up. And, you know, I've thought about gluing it down, but I'm like, no, nah, I'll just, you know, in case I want to just sort of mix up the displays. If I get another one um, and switch it out, I might just do one that's like, you know, this guy, he's got his sword or something like, you, you know, this guy's in the front lines or something like that. And then have another one behind with all the armor or vice versa, whatever. But yeah, seeing that head on there like that looks good and you know you can put that on with this guy as well so you know there's a couple of alternatives um and, you know then if you're a little bit courageous with some paint you know you just tweak up the armor a little bit just to appear different but um yeah really really cool love his ears and i love the sort of almost howling whooping noise they make in the in the caverns, you, know, you can hear them coming. Like, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, that's so cool. I love the orcs. But yeah, the last last figure I need to get up to date is the Urukai, um, which yeah, I will like to hunt down. But um, my next review after this one will be Gandalf the Grey. Really, really nice figure. So stick around for that one, folks. I think you'll like it too. If you're into these figures, I think they're really good. Um, yeah, appreciate you hanging out and checking out this guy. I wish he had a name as opposed to just Moria Orc, but you know, some Orcs did have some interesting names. Um, but yeah, I guess, you know, just a, a grunt, I suppose. He probably doesn't have one. But a lot of the way you can get him to sort of squat down. Sort of run like he's, you know, the you know, running around in caves and tunnels and stuff. They're no longer standing upright and straight. You know, they're crawling around and skulking around in the darkness. And yeah, it's it's really cool, really nice design. All right, thanks, folks. Appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. Got Gandalf coming up right next. Um, yeah, just stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe, like, all that cool stuff, and uh, we'll be back with Gandalf. So until then, uh, may the rings be with you. <laughs>